Welcome to my biggest ever IT exam challenge. If you've never heard of me, I'm Paul Browning, the guy in the picture down there. I used to work at Cisco TAC. I was in the police before that, actually. I've been teaching IT courses and doing consulting since 2002. And I've written multiple um, best-selling books. You can see a few of these on the screen. Some are no longer for sale and some have been updated. I need to update the pictures. And I started out knowing nothing, as I'm sure pretty much everyone else did. I own HowToNetwork.com, if you've heard of it. 101labs.net, which is hands-on um, lab training for IT exams. And CCNA, it's in 60days.com. So, uh, just in case you don't know how to or you want more information, if you click on the subscribe button and smack the bell, I do lots of IT exam coaching and uh, career information videos here on YouTube. So, as I said, it's my biggest IT uh, challenge ever. And basically, it's um, 50k uh, USD, so US dollars, uh, and it's 10 lots of five which basically uh, obviously reduces the money uh, into individual sections but it gives more people the chance of winning if it's just one person then it'd be a uh, first past the post for example so i'll explain the odds in a minute which are very high for you because most people quit now i've chosen it there's obviously um coding um project management um networks um, well, well, cloud and there's a whole bunch of careers I've spent some time um, researching and chatting to uh, recruitment consultants and friends who manage networks for large companies the CTOs and basically there's a massive um, as it says here I suppose this is a good of good as word as any a drought of um, cyber security talent so this is um, great news for us this is the uh, you don't often get this in, in IT but basically it's a situation I can find my pen here the um, the supply is down here and the demand is up here so this does a couple of things it increases the um, amount of money you can make and um, with the best will in the world we need this for our uh, travel our accommodation food and to support our families and it reduces the barriers to entry so beforehand they would say like five years um, MBA and um, speak Japanese whatever the, the daft things they do basically what they're doing now is the demand has gone down so what you really need now is a certification and most of them have a hands-on aspect. So say you did the um, certified ethical hacking, you you would spend a fair amount of time doing hands-on labs, and then um, you'd say you've got 50 hours of hands-on time, and then you could, you'd be applying for the roles. So um, this is a direct quote from that article from Forbes, so it's a reliable source, and it's pretty uh, recent. Um, so cyber crimes growing exponentially businesses have got a severe cybersecurity talent drought and uh, massive competition for services so uh, for every uh, five jobs there's one person so this is a massive drought um, so and obviously there's remote working involved for most of us now so uh, the other thing about cyber security is uh, your network team a lot of the time or coding they're working um, say nine to five cyber security is rotating uh, 24 7 365 so you've got three lots of people required instead of the normal one uh, for every role again good news because it's pushing up demand uh, this is a, uh, a video from uh, CNBC we're outnumbered a uh, security pros facing huge staffing shortage attacks surging during the pandemic so basically um, there's a, a massive uh, g gamut this is the last challenge I run I ran I've, I've actually run a quite a few over the years and um, this guy got a thousand dollars he passed the following exams as you can see this William another guy Chris Connell passed a few certs and did really well thousand dollars 
Uh, Gary, he just passed one, but he got points for other things, which I won't bore you with. And $1,000. Um, uh, Adam passed the Cloud Essentials and CCNA. And then the biggest winner, oh no, not the biggest, sorry, another $1,000 was Dante. And then the biggest winner was uh, Brent, who got the CCNA, um, CCNA Security, which is, um, that's not actually available anymore. You've got this Cyber Ops, which I'll show you in a minute. There's a Cisco Associate in Cyber Ops and Professional. And he passed his CCMP, so he got $5,000. So what I'm doing now is um, this offer here and doing times um, 10 lots of 5,000. So I know what I'm doing. I've been helping people study and pass IT exams and more, and more importantly, get in to very lucrative uh, careers in the IT industry for many years. Um, if you go to howtonetwork.com, there's case studies on the homepage. This is just all I could fit on one slide and I couldn't even fit all them on actually. So these have passed every certification you could imagine. So IT security, again, this is just reiterating what I've said. They can't, um, they can't employ uncertified staff. You're um, you're not insured if you don't have certified staff. You um, can't use a lot of vendors' equipment. You certainly can't get a discount, um, basically because you'd be you wouldn't know how to configure or support it. Uh, you can start from nothing again because of the way the the industry is at the moment. Most companies are offering higher salaries as well when you're certified. You can definitely solve problems a lot quicker and it gives you a lot of other um, skills. Getting certified is the only way to get your first IT job. So if you're trying to get in or if you're in some low level job, certification is the only way in. There's a whole bunch. So before you um, leave a nasty comment, this is just a few examples of the main types. I obviously haven't got every single um, uh, type on like cloud security, for example. So, um, you know, pick something that you're interested in. I recommend, I recommend most people start with the CompTIA Security Plus because that covers almost every area of security and then you can kind of specialize. Typical skills are forensics, internet, uh, cryptography, cybersecurity, uh, recovering data, privacy, uh, I said that already, sorry. I just quickly went on to Zip Recruiter. Uh, so the national average is sitting at $100,000 uh, uh, and 500 almost. Obviously, there's a whole range here. I don't know anyone who'd be doing anything for this. So you'd hit the average here and then for the top level, um, um, the chief um, security officers would obviously be up here or high level technical people. So as of um, recently, so 9th of March, Average salary is uh, 100k. That's uh, 48 dollars an hour if you're um, pay, um, charging an hourly rate if you're a freelancer. So nearly 2,000 dollars a week. Again, you obviously, I'm sure I, I don't even know where this came from. Actually, I don't know anyone who'd be working for that. But you'd be starting on the lower level. May, I mean, I'm just making these numbers up, 50K. And then obviously as you pass certificate, well, that's with one, as you pass more and more certifications and get more and more um, experience, so one, one to two years, you obviously get paid more. So I just pulled up basically some random jobs, cybersecurity analyst, remote working. So this is the golden nugget for most of us working from home because on average, you're going to save yourself around 20k per year in car costs and travel costs. And obviously, two hours per day. I'm not going to do the maths and embarrass myself, but say you worked, um, uh, so I don't know, 340 days a year times two. So you're going to save yourself almost uh, 700 hours a year in traveling time, which is just fantastic. Uh, and I just typed in a search engine, I think it was jobserve.com or Glassdoor for junior security positions. So if you're not qualified yet and you're getting it started out, these are the things you're obviously going to be looking for. Uh, so down here, again, I'm going to try and find my pen somewhere, sorry. So you're looking for, they're doing research and evaluation of security technologies. Um, junior level administrator, so that's hands-on. Contract role, which I like to take. 
um, vulnerability testing, monitoring the network security compliance audits, all bread and butter stuff. I'm really exciting as well. So how does it all work? You basically earn points for every certificate you pass, security that is. I've put a long date on, so from as I'm as I'm recording this, it's 15 months. I was going to leave it at 12, but I've decided to add uh, three on to give you some extra time. Uh, final entry is going to a weighted draw. I don't think I'll need to do that actually because most people um, won't even uh, start because they think they're not in with a chance. 10 winners of 5k. So this is what I've got at the moment. And um, for the challenges, I'll put this on the forum that we have on how to network. Pass one of these. So your Network Plus, which has got a fair bit of security, your Microsoft security, MTA security, or the Linux LPI Essentials, which has got a little bit of security in. So this is your baby or your foundation. Pass one of these. So um, your Linux LPI C, this actually counts as one because it's pretty much the same exam. It's like 99% the same. Uh, Wireshark is a, is a golden one, uh, Cisco, CyberOps Associate, and the Compute Security Plus. So one of those, that gets you 10 points, sorry, the beginning one gets you 5. Then we go into the professional level. So anything that's white is currently being written. Uh, these two down here are almost finished. We're recording this one, Wi-Fi Security, and we're recording um, the Compute CYSA Plus. So we're recording them. A certified ethical hacker here. A pen test plus is live. I think we're updating this one. And again, these ones here we're going to be writing in a few months. But this this here is maybe a month. This is maybe two months work. And then by the time you're there, we should have more filled in here. Pass one of these at least, that's 15 points. And then finally, we're writing these at the moment. Um, they're quite complex, as you can imagine. So by the time you get here and pass one, it's 20 points for um, every one that you pass. You, you only need to pass one of these. So we're looking for a 50 point mini, minimum. So if you pass one of them, one of them, one of these, or one of these, that equals 50 points. Now, if you want, you can carry on doing more, but this is the minimum. Uh, and as I said here, the list is growing, so there's something's going to appear uh, later on. So here's an example. Somebody passes the MTA security, the LPIC1. That's the Linux um, practitioner exam, by the way, Linux professional. Certified ethical hacker they pass, and then they pass the CSCP. Um, and uh, this is 50 points in total, so they qualify. Network Plus they pass. LPIC1 they pass, Compute Security Plus, LPIC2. If you're going to do the LPIC2, you have to have the one. That's their rules, so you have to have the one. And then the LPIC3, which is a specialization, and uh, we want the security one. That's 20 points. So that's uh, 60 points in total. Now, there's a few obvious things. Um, more certifications you pass, the more points. Again, you only need 50, and I have a feeling there won't be many that um, take me up, but uh, for those of you that are feeling keen, the sooner you start, the better for you. The, the longer you leave it, obviously, the less time you have to pass. All my challenges, I require you to go to the help desk on howtonetwork.com, upload a photo of you holding your certificate, the receipt for you paying for the exam, and verification. Now, you need to pass the exam after the challenge starts. So you basically join, uh, pass, and then go through to the proof. If you've already passed something here, say you've already got the security plus, then that doesn't count. It needs to be something new from the day I set this challenge. So what usually happens? So say I invite 10,000 and 9,000 will watch the video and think they don't have a chance anyway. So that takes out most of the competition for you. Around 1,000 would make a start. Most of them will give up and quit. This is just my experience over the past um, 18 years now of doing these kind of things. 10 keep going and pass the exam. Well, I'm offering 10 lots of 5k. So basically all you would need to do would be uh, to qualify and um, pass the exam and you qualify. 
So I've got folders and folders full of my challenges from 2015 and earlier 2018. Um, I've offered a whole bunch of stuff, not just cash. So uh, worst case scenario, you pass some IT exams and I think you'd be earning, um, if you pass just three or four of those exams, you'd be earning substantial um, amount of money doing some sort of security role. Best case, you're doing that and you also get a, um, it'll be PayPal, it has to be PayPal, so anyway I can send money, um, you'll have $5,000 extra. Alright, so it uh, must be a current paying member, it must be out of any trial offer, so you can't um, leave the website and then come back and do another trial. You must have uploaded all your proof. Um, ends the end of June 2022. Now obviously if there's a massive pandemic or some sort of catastrophe, then we, we could move it later. Um, as you know, we had the COVID hit um, just over a year ago, so I give people more time for my last challenge. And now there's a URL on the bottom of this uh, page somewhere, if you're watching on YouTube, where you can go to. Have a look around the website first if you want, howtonetwork.com, and then um, use that special URL. It's um, $1 for the first 30 days. Uh, why us? Well, basically, everyone we use to teach is not an IT trainer. There's not a single uh, trainer out of any of these people. They all work for large um, companies. I, um, IBM, Cisco. His, uh, this guy's freelance here, CCIE, security, um, consultant, etc. You won't find any of these people sitting in the classroom for 10, 50, 20 years. I could mention some of the people or some of the websites that are out there, but I won't. I'm sure you've heard of them. I do an entire coaching um, strategy brain training session, so we help you learn. Live Cisco racks if you're doing Cisco stuff 24-7. Tons of practice exams as well. So 30 days, there's a special URL deal. Please use that so I know you're on this challenge. There's 35 or more courses. If you go to howtonetwork.com, if you click on courses, they'll all appear down here. Um, loads of practice exams, as I said. Life Cisco Racks, expert support, career training, exam strategy support, and that's it. So, um, you know, please don't delay. Don't take too long to think about it because, as I've said, most people won't even try. And then most people who try, like 99%, will just give up. So if you're just going to be determined, you can really make a big difference to your career and obviously be in the run for making the um, prize. So thanks for listening to me and I'll see you on the inside.